let's head over to the cold open where we open up. Um, you know, it's been a few times we've seen this over the years where we open up in the studio and we get some cast members talking directly to us at home. And we see uh, Bowen, Ego, Keenan, and Heidi talking about the shocking and horrifying results uh, of the election that they uh, didn't expect and all of their concerns about rights and privileges being taken away from people that they support. Um, but they want to know and they want to they want to tell Donald Trump uh, at home that we've been with you all along and we've never wavered in our support of you, even when others have doubted you. In comes Marcelo, Sarah and Colin Jost appearing in the cold open, which I thought was a nice touch. Uh, you know, about how uh, they hate the lamestream media and that made him look foolish. And if you're making a list of your enemies, we should not be on that list. If anything, uh, only the three new cast members should be on that list. The three disgusting new cast members, Jane, Ashley and Emil. Um, we get in comes a uh, hot jacked Trump. So we, for the first time, we get uh, a glimpse into what we may see the future of the James Austin Johnson Trump impression with the hot jacked Trump. Uh, Dana Carvey in the building, uh, not playing playing Biden, but switches over to the dark side. <laughs> He's now playing Elon Musk here. Um, and uh, we get a little bit of alluding to uh, the young men or YMCA that Trump plays at a lot of his rallies. So this was a very interesting cold open that we saw here, Bill. How do you feel like SNL handled the moment? Well, this, this was what I was most tense about, you know, in the micro of the week leading up to SNL, how are they going to handle the code open? And that's what we do when we're super fans of the show. You know, when something happens that's either tragic or controversial, how is SNL going to open the show? And I, I did not know all the nonsense online about is, is Maya going to come out and sing hallelujah? No, of course not. Like that, that was never going to be an option. Uh, as similar as this might feel to 2016, it's not the same. And that's what you kind of alluded to, John. I liked where this went. Uh, from the beginning, I wasn't really sure. But then we got some really stellar performances. I love Ego in this, uh, talking about waking up screaming in the middle of the night. But 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 enjoy. She's screaming in joy. Uh, Jost's turn on this is great, trying to throw Che under the bus, even though he's not even on stage. Um, and, uh, Josh, as he's leaving the stage after he does hot Jack Trump, uh, and he rolls his eyes in just such a way the audience caught it. And uh, it was really, really funny that he's like, now I'm going to have to do this for the next four years. Uh, so there were a lot of really good performances in, uh, a no win situation for them in this cold open. Pally, I felt like there was a lot of landmines that SNL was trying not to step up on this week. Do you think that they pulled this off? I think that they did. I was in the same boat as Bill. I spent kind of the entire week, uh, that was the elephant in my mental room. It's like, what is this week's cold open going to look like? I was like, I don't know that I want to see a ton of political impressions right now. That's been the whole week. How are they going to address this? And I think I was concerned that if they tried to avoid the landmines, it wasn't going to be as funny as I wanted it to be. And somehow they managed to dodge that obstacle. It felt um somehow like a refresh it felt new in a way that i didn't expect it to getting to see kind of a different twist on james austin johnson's um trump impression was a lot more needed to me than i thought it was made me feel a little bit better about seeing that so much in the future um it felt almost refreshing in a way like i i was able to exhale that it wasn't too heavy. It acknowledged the elephant in the room um, and it did kind of dodge those landmines without feeling too intentional about it. Yeah, I really feel like this is everything I could have wanted. Um, you know, I, I've been preaching on these shows that like I want to see cast members play themselves more on the show. I feel like that this is an era where they really haven't done it enough. And when they when they have done it, um, it's been overtly explaining their view on a situation. Um, and I think that this was the actual balance of what they needed to do, where we know how most of these cast members feel in the current moment, but they did it through the lens of comedy. It was 
comical that we all know that they may not have voted for this guy, but now they're worried that they're going to be on some sort of list. And I think that they treating it with that approach, um, I think it works for everybody. And like, I, again, I, I really want to credit and as we get into the week and talk about who wrote these, uh, these segments, uh, we'll talk about that on the roundtable and stuff like that. But I, I really have to credit some of the writing and producing for this cold open, because I just think it struck a really good balance of you at home getting to know each of these cast members as people without feeling like they are preaching their views to you and saying or imposing their views to you and saying, hey, I, I think that we should have voted for Kamala and this is how this is how everyone should feel about it. I don't think they did that tonight. I think you could have been a Trump voter or maybe uh, a Republican who doesn't support Trump and watched tonight's cold open and felt good about what you saw. Um, so I, I really think that they they walked a very tight rope and they nailed it. And it's been a long time since I've been able to say that about the show. So I'm really proud of the show that, and the way that they handled this tonight. So overall, I'm uh, I'm hoping that this is the start of uh, some really uh, some stronger political writing that we could see on the show. So um, let let them be let them take this moment um, and be inspired to produce things that are more creative like this.